you agree with me that you need to grow some balls. Maybe Chris Hemsworth wants to hook up with you at best. You're not answering the question, Len! Hi guys, welcome to Master Debater, your new favorite debate series from Moa Banana. I am your judge and host, Sylvia from Night Owl Cinematics. And on my left... <laughs> Hi, my name is Seriji from what used to have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Still have! And on this side, we have... Hi, I'm Joel. I'm from the Debate Association Singapore. Welcome to Master Debater, the show where we fight about not-so-important topics in battles of debates. Every episode, three people from each team will present their stance going up 1v1 against their opponents in a speech round, followed by a quick-fire rebuttal round. Judges will decide which team won, and the losers will have to vote out one of their own. But the judges also have a revival card for the season, which they can use to bring one speaker back. Points will be given to the winners, as well as the best speakers of the episode, voted by you. The six players with the most points will go to the final episode, where we will crown the master debater. Who will survive? Who will break down? Who will be the true master debater? Okay, the very first topic we're going to offer you guys is Sliding into DMs to get a partner is totally acceptable So the red team is four Ooh. Yeah. Four! Yeah. And the blue team is again yeah. So before we get started into the rounds of debate I just want to ask my fellow judges, okay? What do you feel, uh, Herzi? I Are you looking down because you're guilty? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I say when you're 31 and you're still single, times are hard, just whatever works, you know? All the apps slide through knock on door, B2B, sales to sale. That's how I find jobs also these days, just sliding into the end. Hey, you want me to give you gigs? Huh? Okay. Times are hard. Okay, fantastic. He's clearly for our red team. How about you, Joe? I think sliding into DMs is acceptable um, as long as you play by the rules and don't harass people. Yeah. Oh, he's very articulate. I like. Round one. Okay. Let's go, Sophia. Now, a partner is someone who you can trust, someone who will be by your side through thick and thin. Okay. Now, do you really believe that sort of foundation can be built on something so shallow and superficial like a DM? No, it cannot. Now, let me talk to you about romance and love. Okay. First of all. Now, what happened to the old school way of meeting someone? Okay, would you rather the Oh, he slid into my DMs type love story or the Oh, we can't each other's gaze from across our favourite bookstore and he walks up to me, masters up the courage to ask for my number type love story? Yes! yes that's the story we want! Okay, yes. you know why? Because that shit is romantic and that shit will probably last a lot longer Longer than a Hey baby, you look hot, wanna go out message in the DMs Yes! yes. Now, yes. you sure you wanna date someone like that, okay? Because he's probably a player testing out his luck on a gazillion other girls, waiting around to see who will reply him back. And don't be surprised if every message he sends is a copy and paste, okay? Now, so what's the probability of a relationship like that lasting? Very, very low. And the truth is, okay, if you like a girl enough, you will grow some freaking balls and yeah, you will ask yeah. her out in person because you like her enough, okay? Thank you. Alright guys, hey, relax, relax, okay? But well, the first thing about this, right, is saving face. Imagine this scenario, right? I'm at the place, uh, not bar, la. I'm at the place. I see a pretty girl. Whoa, what do I do? Do I approach her? I got no time to think. Imagine I approach her. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 I lose face. Embarrassing, right? Then imagine my friends. <laughs> Worst strangers. I <laughs> say, but. If I start into DM, I got time to prepare. I got time to structure my pickup line. So when I start into DM, even if I fail, so what? I don't lose face. But if let's say she replies me, booms! First step done. Okay, so you talked about saving face, right? So you agree with me that you need to grow some balls. Right, but the thing is you're not answering some of the question. The question is sliding DMs acceptable, not about all the F-boy or anything. Okay, well the point I'm trying to say is, you know, it's not that you can't slide into DMs at all, okay? You can slide into DMs for business reasons whatsoever, but to get a partner, why do that, okay? There's no romance in that. Okay, then what about, you still talk about tra traditional love. Then what about if the pandemic is here, then how? Okay, how do your parents and your grandparents meet? 
Huh? Okay, you're not answering the question, but it's okay. But playing game is always a stepping stone. Imagine you use Tinder, you use any apps. It's the same. It's just no matter what, it's just another platform. Okay, now love is one of the greatest and most, like the best feeling in the world. Okay, some of us kill for love, okay? And if love is not something that you would die for, if it's not a bloody good love story, then you know what? I don't know. But the point is, let's say you text, like you okay. want to know a girl, but that's a stepping stone. You get to know a person, you don't need to go on a date yet. You know the person, you get to date, you don't need to know what the person like, what the person want to eat and stuff like that. But you can also know the person in real life and meet in the bookstore, what? Huh? <laughs> Round two. Yeah, I think. Go, Chris. Oh, oh, so okay, guys, I believe that all of us here will agree that privacy and safety is extremely important. So now, sliding into DMs is like having strangers come up to you and whisper into your ears. And guess what? That is unsolicited and it's not even embarrassment, it's harassment. Why is it harassment? You, yeah, people just come up to you and talk to you like that. It's fine. But if it's sliding in your DMs, it's not okay. And you know who else slides into DMs? Sugar daddies looking for sugar babies and sexual predators and people who just want to sexually harass you. And this is the reason why, this is the reason why Instagram have filters. This is the reason why Instagram block pictures before you can accept them. Because Instagram knows that it is unacceptable. We're talking about looking for a partner. There are dating apps for this. Not Instagram. Sliding into DMs, looking for a partner is totally not acceptable. And I just want to say all of this could have been avoided if only people take dating seriously, looking for a partner seriously and bring it to reality rather than slide into DMs. Oh my god! Oh my Sliding into DMs to get a partner is acceptable. Why? Okay, let's define the word acceptable. Acceptable is really just whether you are interested in the other party. The line between creepy and romantic all boils down to whether you are interested. How many of you here would actually mind if Chris Hemsworth were to slide into your DM? Pretty sure majority of you wouldn't lah. So the real question right? is how you approach it. Were you rude? Were you obnoxious? The main point here is to be respectful. Yes. Therefore, the yes. platform and the method yes. used to approach someone is inconsequential. So if platform doesn't matter, what are we debating today? It's basically just to get a partner. Is it acceptable? Yes, of course it's acceptable. Yes, and think about it. There's certain authenticity to knowing someone first through social media. At least you get to see your mutual friends, what they do, where they hang out. It's way safer than a complete stranger. Someone who have no idea where they come from uh, approach you in a bar where they can actually hurt you physically on the get-go. So why is signing into DMs not acceptable? Logically, isn't that a safer way to meet someone new? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, before you're ready, I just want to say, both of you are really small size. <laughs> Can you say that during my round two? Okay, my friend, it's like you totally don't believe in what you say. We're talking about totally acceptable. Totally acceptable means that you prefer that over meeting them in person. Do you really prefer that? Okay, number one, you're not answering the question. The question is to get a partner. Just now your argument, you said that they will sexually harass someone and be perverted. But if you want to get a partner, why would you do that? And, okay, am I you say first? Sure, getting a partner. Partner, guys, we're talking about relationships. Somebody that you can trust. And you want to meet them in, by sliding into DMs. And you were talking about Chris Hemsworth, right? That is totally irrelevant. Maybe Chris Hemsworth wants to hook up with you at best, but would he want to be your partner? No, I'm sorry. Okay, number one, right? The topic center is a slide into DMs, but they now say that we cannot meet in real life. Slide into DMs is an opening. After that, you meet, then you have chemistry. Okay, let's go back to the point. The point is, is it totally acceptable? Guys, clearly it is unacceptable. It is totally acceptable because it's all about sincerity. I'm sorry. <laughs> Round three. Alright, alright. Putin versus Trump. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty. We are red now. We got the top. No choice. Check red. Sorry, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to talk about character. Talking to someone in person shows character and courage. 
There's nothing personal about a DM. The guy is probably DMing 50 other girls. He may come up with an interesting pickup line, but you won't be able to experience the full emotional spectrum. It's like having sex via Zoom. Yes. Most relationships are lived through in person, not online. There have been times in my personal experience where a girl is great at texting, but, on, but once we meet offline, it's like talking to a wall. Let's go back to courage. When coming up to an unknown person, the guy or girl is very selective. Firstly, there are a bunch of people watching you. You have to come up with the right lines to say. You have to make sure you and your breath don't smell. You have to maintain eye contact. Most, uh, most likely make him or her laugh to ease the uh, tension. There's literally just one chance. That takes courage. Will Smith once said that the best things in life are on the other side of fear. Gain some balls! Sliding into DMs doesn't take courage. It takes time to write the message. That's it. Yeah! 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 Alright, let's go, fish! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, let's go! Fish, fish! We invented technology to help us, not hinder us. Math got us to the moon. It's not just a silly string of numbers that makes you bored in secondary school. So why do we not utilize this more for dating? We have dating apps, why not social media? Everyone is on social media these days. On top of that, we are on a bloody era of a pandemic. You can't go to the bookstore, Sophia. You can't go there. You can't meet people there anymore. Meet them online, it's safe. People are lonely right now. If you talk to people and form a romantic connection during this pandemic over the internet, it helps you with that loneliness and depression. Last but not least, I just want to say the opposition, all they said today are telling stories of how there are predators out there and it's dangerous. That's not the question. The question isn't totally acceptable to do it to try and get a partner. Not if you're an asshole being a predator out there. So, I just want to let everyone know here that if you do it the right way, you can not only cure your loneliness, you can find a partner and guess what? You might even get yourself a wife. You mentioned online, right? Online is fake, it's all highlights, it's not real. Same as DMs, someone else could have crafted it for you, right? How are you supposed to find a love with, when someone else crafted you the, the thing, you know? But when it's in person, you get a real person, you can hide, you can't hide behind technology. Okay, look at Chrisanne, look at her poor face. She's been traumatized by a thousand of those DMs. You only got, you got OnlyFans, would love to see more of you, cutie. Uh, you attached, can you let me see your feet? That's disgusting. Oh. Well, mine was just one shot. Let me give you an example, I'm in a bar. That. Hey, do you wanna come back to my place? Yeah, sure, bang, you're dead. I'm a serial killer, I'm so sorry. What's the difference here? One, you're dead, one, you just get a nasty message. I'm talking about, you're not answering the question, Len! The question isn't totally acceptable. It's not totally acceptable to be a pervert. If you're doing it the correct and proper way, it's totally acceptable to go and find a partner that way. Lastly, please stop king shaming me. Having sex on Zoom, there's actually no problem with that. We're in a pandemic. We should encourage these safety precautions. It's not my fault you have performance anxiety on camera. It's not my fault you have performance anxiety on camera. Oh. Since the pandemic, people have been using the internet on average 10% more than they usually have because we're stuck at home. It's a great way to go and meet people, great way to talk to people safely during this pandemic time. It's a perfect opportunity to meet them through sliding into DMs. And I just want to address something quickly. The opposition has not answered the questions. We've given great points and facts about why it's appropriate and totally acceptable to go and find a partner. Being a pervert and sliding to DMs is not acceptable when you're trying to find a partner. We agree with their stance. It's absolutely horrible. We're not contesting this. It's totally acceptable when your intention is to find a partner and you're looking for happiness. Yeah! That's, right. That's right. Deal with that. Nope. No. <laughs> to conclude, we're not saying you can't slide into anyone's DMs, but the topic here is about getting a partner. Trustable, reliable, your other half. And if you think sliding into a DM for that sort of relationship is totally acceptable, inferring that it is the right way to go, the preferred way, our points have just proven it's clearly not. The ideal is still a relationship created between two people. And you keep referring to the pandemic. The pandemic will end soon and the life will go on in person, not anywhere else. Yes! Okay, so we have listened to many points from both teams and I must say, I did not make my stand earlier, you know, whether I'm for or against, yeah. but now I'm kind of swayed to the other side. What is the other side? The other side is the blue side. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Put up some points that made me reconsider that, eh, 
this side actually has a fighting chance. Which point of this that you felt was a fighting chance? I think that uh, when they talk about um, social media being too shallow a platform, which is the first point brought up by Sophia, right? So that really made me re-look, you know, oh, we're talking about partner in this topic, right? And therefore, is this really the best uh, or most acceptable platform? versus many other options out there. And then I think they also brought up, you know, the wonders of love. And you know, I think a lot of people who are watching and looking for love, you know exactly that connection. And I think they brought that part up. So I was like, eh? Makes a bit of sense. Uh, I actually completely disagree with you. I am more sweet to the rates uh, argument. <laughs> Uh, just because the motion was, is sliding into DMs acceptable to find a partner? What they have created as yardsticks for their discussion was the fact that it is acceptable as a probability to find love as first point of contact. And also, I'm still single, so if anyone out there want to slide into my DMs, feel free, be respectful, uh, let me know. So, I think... Uh, I lean more towards red, but not because of my personal biases. Uh, I personally do not slide into DMs. <laughs> um, but the reason why is because for the large part of red's case, red was able to distinguish the the difference between sliding into DMs in terms of intention. Secondly, I think like on the issue of the pandemic's context. So on this side, um, they push this idea of like pandemics being a real issue for people's loneliness and I think that's fair um, insofar as it highlights a real problem, a real social problem that people face. So that's the way I saw the debate and that's the reason why I gave it to Red. Yeah. He is the master debater. Yeah. <laughs> I personally think he master debates every day. <laughs> oh. 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 So it's time to review which team won. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm very nervous. Like, why am I nervous? I can't say anything. <laughs> um, okay, ready in three, two, one, point. <laughs> okay, so celebrations done. But now it's a sad part, okay? Blue team, you need to uh, eliminate one of your teammates. Oh, <laughs> I sacrifice. Hey, hey, wait, don't my line! <laughs> okay, Krisan obviously spoke the best. Lev is the stronger teammate, but Sophia delivered her points perfectly for what she needed to do. And I think Lev had a very difficult opponent in Fish, but he didn't stand his own strong enough. So as an unbiased opinion here, I would have to vote Lev. I think all three of them are better than me in person to, to, to talk to people like that. So I think I just vote Sophia out. Lah. Because I really don't know who to vote out. I think Chrisanne is very good. Lev is very good. Sophia is good. So yeah, yeah, Sophia, bye. Okay, my choice is Lev, bye bye. Hi, uh, I think I'll be voting Sophia out because I feel that most people will vote Lev out. So I'm just trying to balance out the votes. Yeah. Well, since I can only choose between two people and Kristen was like really good in her delivery, I can only kick Lev out because I can't kick myself. So, sorry Lev. So, I vote Sophia out because Kristen was the MVP and I can't vote myself out. So, Sophia's the only one left. So, it seems that the judges, us, we have to decide who to kick out because it's a tie. It's like a real reality <laughs> show, I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm so excited! So how do we decide this? Uh, okay. Do we just go one name each? Down? Okay, yeah. Left. I'm gonna say next so that I don't have to have the final vote. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so my vote will go for Sophia, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm the tiebreaker! Ha! 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 It's me! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I feel so bad, it's yeah, okay. I, so bad. I didn't want to be the third judge. Okay. Uh, so the blue team had to deliberate one of the three speakers uh, to be voted out from your team. Uh, Chrisen got no votes, Lev had three votes, and Sophia had three votes. So therefore, there was a tiebreaker, which meant that each judge then had to present our votes, and there was a majority vote for the person kicked out. Can I have Sophia and Lev standing up? Please? Oh my god! We're doing this! We're doing this! Oh I love this! <laughs> Sophia, the judges felt like you had good points. Uh, one of the judges felt that you were probably out of the three speakers slightly more off the motion uh, than the other two. 
left, uh, the judges thought you had the position to sort of bring your team home, being the third speaker. Uh, but whether or not you brought it home for your team, was it on your shoulders? And the person kicked out from the blue team is... As my favourite poet once said, Rudyard Kipling, uh, you should meet with triumph and disaster just the same. So I wish you guys triumph and hope that you will beat the red team in the next rounds. <laughs> Goodbye! And that was the end of a very dramatic episode. What? I know you're living for it. <laughs> He loved the last part, but wow, it's so sad to kick one person out, you know, every single episode. But you know what? You can vote as well, okay? Not for who to vote out, but for your favourite person in the Master Debater series, right? So in this episode, tell me who you think is your MVP. And with that, thank you for watching and Master Debate with us next week. <laughs> Guys, nothing sucks more than being eliminated first, but you know, someone had to take the hit. Unfortunately, it was me. I was the brains behind most of the scripts, but uh, couldn't deliver it against Fish, so his points were affected the judges better. But you know, everyone has a different opinion. Unfortunately, I lost, but it's fine. My team will still win. Next time on Master Debater. This topic doesn't make sense. People are Singapore's biggest asset. At this point, I just like to remind Thomas that the last round they voted the white guy. <laughs>